It's Elizabeth back again with another version of Fun Friday Sex Fact. So today I'm going to talk to you about the abominable job we're doing protecting our youth and our adolescents. Recently, Columbia University School of Public Health reported on uh, the Lancet Commission. The Lancet Commission actually is the Lancet Commission on Adolescent Health and Well-Being, and apparently we're doing a, a crap job. So fill in those blanks. We're really not serving our adolescents well. The fastest growing risk factor over the last 23 years for this age group, our adolescents, is unsafe sex. How is that still happening? Uh, it was the number three fastest growing risk factor in 1990. And in 2013, it jumped to the second fastest growing risk factor. This cannot happen in 2016. These, uh, the results of the commission were because of years of neglect and underinvestment and how we take care of and what health care coverage we provide for this age group. Two thirds of our young people, and let me tell you that there's 1.8 billion adolescents worldwide and growing. Two thirds of these young people are growing up in countries where there are prevented, preventable and treatable health care problems like unsafe sex, HIV AIDS, early pregnancy and STIs that are the most number one ongoing threat to their health and well-being. How is this still happening? We're not investing in our adolescents. Well, that's because we all think that at that age, we're the healthiest of the bunch. And in some cases we are, but let's not forget that it is the time period where health problems and lifestyle risk factors for disease later in life emerge. So if we continue to neglect our youth and those between the ages of, let's say, 10 to 24, we're really creating sort of a global epidemic when those adolescents grow into adults. I want also for you to know that the age group 10 to 24, the 10 to 24 year olds are uh, the poorest, receive the poorest health care coverage of any other age in the lifespan. We've got to take care of our youngsters because guess what? They're going to be taking care of us. One of the study uh, finders, one of the study uh, researchers, if you will, his quote is, investing in adolescent health has the potential to alter the future course of global health. It's that, it's that big of a deal. And he's also saying that these uh, findings are based on or uh, the result of irrational and inconsistent laws. So inconsistent and irrational adults have created what's happening to our young people. It's really um, uh, impacting negatively the health of our adolescents. I want that to change, and I hope you do too. Take care. This is Elizabeth with Beyond the Bedroom. Hi, this is Elizabeth with Beyond the Bedroom. If you like that video and want to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, please go to our website for the most up-to-date information. Love well and thrive. Thank you.